Hi again, this is Suzette Allen with Photoshop in a Minute. Today we're going to talk about how to use the clone source and use the alignment and also turn it off when you're doing retouching. Now in CS5 this was available, but in CS6 it's actually on by default. So I'm going to go to my clone stamp and I'm going to stamp at 100% opacity and I'm going to take this image of these little black cows. I love this scene. Every time I drive down I-5 I take pictures of these cows and I want to get rid of this distraction and this line and a couple of these other little lines. So I'm going to use the clone overlay to help me line it up. So I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit so I can see and basically I want to get rid of this cow. So all I need to do, let's make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to align it up on this line and I'm going to alt click. Then move my mouse down and you can see when that line is perfectly lined up. This is great for this kind of thing. So I can just click and then clone and get rid of that extra cow and then just clone a little bit farther down. So that's how you would use the clone alignment. But half the time you want to turn it off. Anytime you're cloning on a face and retouching, you definitely want to turn it off. So here's how. When you're on the clone tool, on the option bar right up here, you're going to go to the clone source. Odds are it's docked over here, but if not, you can always find it under window as well, under clone source. So once you're in there, all you have to do is uncheck show overlay and then it turns it off. It still works exactly the same. It just doesn't show that little ghost overlay. So it actually makes it a lot easier to retouch. So there you go. Photoshop in a minute. Thanks for tuning in.